If you've had a tough time getting started with short form video, namely TikTok or Reels or Shorts, which are now on YouTube, you're in the right place because I'm gonna help get you going. Hey, welcome to my channel. If we're just now getting acquainted, my name is Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing strategist and a system strategist, and I help people grow their businesses by using digital tools and team building and uh, outsourcing the smart way and creating smart systems in their business. So today we're going to talk about creating short form video and why it's really a smart move to add short form video into your content creation. But if you're anything like I was, you're just like, oh, you know, no matter how much of an enthusiast you are about all this stuff, like you also might be a digital marketing strategist or a social media manager or something, and you know what to tell other people to do, but for you yourself, you're just not quite sure where to get started. That was my story. And so like so many things that I tackle for the first time, what I do is I look an industry similar to mine. So they might be a coach or an author or a course creator, you know, something like that, consultant. And then I look to see how they're doing it. And then that gives me ideas. So number one, go ahead and scope out, go to TikTok and look for people who you already know of. Okay, so let's say you are a course creator, then you're gonna go and look at course creators that, that you already know of that are popular. So maybe that is Amy Porterfield, okay? And you go and look and see what Amy Porterfield is doing on TikTok. Actually, I think she got moving a little bit later on TikTok, but, but she's there and she's definitely doing Instagram Reels. So take a look at what other people are doing. See what resonates with you. Do you like it? Can you see yourself doing that? Or does it make you cringe? If it makes you cringe and you're just like, I don't want to do, if you don't want to do a dance on TikTok or if you don't want to do a funny skit or you don't want to do a lip sync my dear sweet child that's what i do it's what i live for that's okay you do what is comfortable for you the next step is once you have found content that you like that you think you could adopt to your category or your your service your business then you're gonna make that format work for you. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is just search TikTok for people who are in your niche or you know similar to your niche and start looking. So I'm gonna type in Amy Landino. She's sort of a productivity kind of person. And there she is. And I can see she has a lot of TikToks and she's getting really good response on her TikToks. So, and you know what, this is a good time for me to point out, she doesn't have that many followers, okay? It's not an insane amount of followers. She has less than 6,000 followers. But if you look at each video, on average, she's, she's getting thousands of views on each of these little videos. And that's not nothing. <laughs> now I'm gonna look up Elise Dharma. And she's an Instagram expert and I can see that she's also got tons of TikToks. So one of the first things you want to do before you create a TikTok and to get inspiration is to go into that person's account, really watch and study their videos. And you want to think about creating a video that is about your business that sort of introduces yourself. And because TikTok is based on trends, the beauty is that you're encouraged to copy someone else's TikTok to a degree, the structure of it, using the same sound. So let me give you an example. So here's one that Elise did that is a really popular trend. So now what I did was I saved that to my favorites and the way that I did that was I click on the video, you click the three dots and then click add to favorites. Of course, I already have it in my favorites, so it says remove for favorites, but that's where it would be. Then the next thing I wanna show you is we're gonna go over to my account, which is a baby account. We're just growing it right now. But again, like I was clueless and I had to jump in somewhere. So
So basically, it's just like the one Elise did. I just inserted my own content. Here's another one that Elise did and lots of people did. Actually, this is another popular trend. So nothing earth shattering, but very doable. And so, and not intimidating. And so a look at another one that Elise did recently. And I thought, hey, I could do that too. I have one thing to say. You better work, bitch. Okay, so basically what you do is you click the music down at the bottom and you click use this sound, okay? Hello, and then you just press record. So it goes something like this. I have one thing to say. You better work, bitch. Okay, super silly. And I did do this, but I did it a little bit more produced. I'll show you the one that I did today, actually. Here it is. I have one thing to say. You better work, bitch. Okay, super silly, but super doable, and really just a, a very easy sort of non-threatening way to get your toes wet in TikTok and in Reels. Once you get going, which is the hardest part, you'll gain some momentum and it will get easier and easier. And here's the great thing. You're gonna feel kind of dumb in the beginning, and it's okay because the beauty of social media with all these platforms is that you don't really have any followers yet. So as you're starting, not many people are seeing what you're doing. Not usually, okay? You might get lucky and your first video goes viral. It, it does happen, but that's a good thing. Then you couldn't have looked too stupid, right? But for the most part, you're just gonna kind of maybe, you know, make yourself cringe a little bit as you do it, but not a lot of people are gonna see it. By the time you start building an audience, you'll be getting better and better. Understand, this isn't about doing something just because everybody's doing it. It's about doing it because it is mind-blowing how fast people are growing really large audiences on these channels. And because, for example, Facebook and Instagram want reels to take off so badly, they want to capture that TikTok audience, they are really rewarding you with views from people who are your ideal clients. So what that means is when you put a piece of content out there, they're gonna show it to people who don't already follow you. And that's true for TikTok as well. They're gonna put it out to who they think needs to see it, not just your followers. And that's how you can build an audience really, really quickly of the kind of people who you wanna be connecting with. So my next strategy, and this is not gonna be new to you, but it really is a way of making this doable and even kind of fun and that is you want to batch record these short form videos okay so like today i did one TikTok with my jacket off and then i threw my jacket on and i did a couple more and i changed the background so i had this for one TikTok, and then i had that brick wall behind me for another one and then i sat at my desk for another one and so i mean not that you even need to do that you could just do them all in the same same shirt, same background, but I like to do that. And when I batch record my YouTube videos as well. So those are just a few strategies that I hope will help you get started with short form video. And I would love to see some of the stuff that you're putting out there. Just put a link, feel free to put a link to your TikTok or your reel or your short form video, your shorts video for YouTube down below so I can have a look and if you want more tips like these, let me know. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell and all the things so that you get notifications and you never miss one of these trainings. Like and subscribe, as they say. See you next time.